Hey YouTube, this is SJM4306 back. Uh, sorry, I've been a bit busy with classes recently, but I want to show you a little quick project that I uh, whipped together just just because I got bored. Basically, what I have here is a uh, a VHD display, uh, or VFD, sorry, a uh, va vacuum fluorescent display, um, a PIC microprocessor, the same one that I always use, the 16F, uh, what is it, 886, as well as a um, my boost mode um, inductor circuit there, so I can step the voltage up because I'm using this tiny 110 mAh um, lithium polymer battery to generate uh, 20 some odd volts in order to uh, power this uh, VFD screen. And I just wanted to show you the uh, quick little uh, test circuit that I got up and running. And as you can see there, it lights up. You might notice an uneven lighting because I'm um, driving the filaments uh, direct DC drive, so you're going to get degradation in, of intensity as you get to lower potential. But um, that could be easily amended by driving the filaments via AC. Uh, yeah, it would just offer some you know, software uh, modifications that's to, to control that. But other than that, I, everything's kind of, well, relatively high voltage compared to the, um, the 5 volts, or actually the 3 point you know, seven volts or some odd uh, supply rail. So I'm gonna have to figure something. I just connected all of them to the rail. You basically have to pull the gate high. These displays are multiplexed in segments, basically, just like uh, LED matrix displays or um, LCD matrix displays work. They're multiplexed so that you have so many segments and relatively few number of pins. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to find a way of uh, switching all these using a CMOS logic uh, or TTL levels but um, I'll probably just use like an open collector uh, chip or something like that so that I can uh, increase the, the uh, density so that I don't have a million individual chips for each of these darn pins but other than that um, I just wanted to go ahead and make uh, something that uses these displays. I have a box full of them because I take apart so much stuff I just accumulated so much so um, I just wanted to make something that looked cool and that worked, you know, and this is uh, this is pretty cool, I gotta admit. I just wired random segments to light up just to show that it works. But um, yeah, eventually I'll get around to actually making a full driver. I have um, other ones, different ones for clock displays and for media centers, and so I'll integrate it into my amplifier projects and whatnot in the uh, future. So I just wanted to give a quick update for that, show you guys that I'm still alive and I'm still doing something, albeit I'm uh, quite busy with classes, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, but I'll uh, keep trying to uh, do stuff. And um, yeah, I'm excited because I also have a uh, my uh, senior project uh, coming up and I got something really cool for that. And I'm uh, trying to get um, basically, uh, you know, military funding for it because of its uh, specific application. But anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys updated and um, I'll, I'll make a ton of videos during the uh, build process of that. I don't want to give it away right now. But anywho, I can see that my battery is pretty much dying. So I'll let you guys go and with that, I'll see you until next time.